Good afternoon everyone. Today we are going to look at the best daddy of 90 days fiance and I would like you to help me and choose the best daddy of 2022. The first daddy we are going to discuss today is Lauren and Alexei. Alexei is a good guy. He is from Israel. He is a very, very chilled guy and he never had any drama during his season. Now they have three kids and you can see he is very, very involved with his kids. You can go to his, his Instagram page and you can see all the photos of him and the kids. The first, the first boy is called Shai. The second one is Asha and the little girl is Ariel. And I'll say that Alexei is a good daddy of 90 days fiance franchise. So we are going to look at the second daddy who is also a good daddy. And the name is Binyan. Bini is married to Ariella and Bini is from Ethiopia. They were blessed by a baby boy called Avi. We do know that they had ups and downs in their relationship, but Bini is very, very involved with the child. He loves to play with the child. He likes to do the balancing tricks with the child and he is really there to make sure that he bonds with the child. And luckily now they are married and they are now all in US and we can still see Bini is very involved with the little boy, which is really nice. And we also know that Bini will be a good father even when they have two or three kids. Another couple that we are going to discuss today is Kobe and Emily. The couple met while they were working in China and they conceived a baby boy called Coban. Fortunately, the couple uh, are married now and they are both in US. They have two kids now and the names of the kids are the boy is Coban and the little girl is Scarlett and both kids are adorable and we know that Kobe is a good father and we have seen the scene when he met his uh, boy for the first time he cried because he really missed those 17 months when they were apart from each other but looking at the things now the family is growing Though they are still staying with the in-laws, but he looks like a responsible guy. He looks like a hands-on dad and he's having a job to support his family. I think Kobe is going to be a good father whether he will be having three or four kids. He looks as if he loves Emily, though we know that Emily can push somebody else's button. But I think Kobe love, uh, loves Emily the family. Another couple that we are going to talk about today is Yara and Jovi. Jovi is a good father as well. Jovi has grown up to be a good guy compared to the early days where he was just a guy hanging around with his friends and visiting strip clubs. But since he got married, they moved away from um, the friends and they are having their own place and they were blessed by a baby girl called Myla and we can see all the pictures that Jovi is really really enjoying to be the father and he is a good provider because Jovi is having um, a good job he is always away from home and I would say that Yara is also a good mom because she takes care of the child while Jovi is away. But whenever Jovi is at home, Jovi is always enjoying his moment with the child. And I can say also that Jovi is a good dad. Another couple that we need to discuss today that have 
impressed all the fans are Musel and Anna. They had struggled to conceive the child, but I understand now that they do have a baby boy called Gohan. I think it's Gohan. And the impressive thing that I really noticed with um, Musel is that he stepped up as a stepfather because Anna had three boys, Joey, Gino, and Leo. I understand that the first uh, son didn't really like the relationship. I'm not sure whether he even attended the wedding because I think he was very protective of his mother. He didn't want his mother to be taken advantage of by a foreigner or a stranger but it appears as if the couple is doing very well. And we can see that um, Mussel is a very hands-on dad. We have seen the videos and images where he is playing with the son and he is really involved. He looks like a good father, not only to his child, but he's also a good stepdad to the three boys of Anna. The last couple that we are going to discuss today is Libby and Andre. Andre is from Moldova. They got married in Florida and now they have two kids. Uh, the first baby girl is Eleanor and um, Andre really loves um, his baby girl. And at one point he was a stay home dad because Libby was working, so he really bonded with the child. I also understand that this season uh, Libby was um, pregnant and he got um, Beth with a baby boy. I think the name is Winston on the 4th of October. Though we know that Andre can be so rude especially while engaging with the family of Libby. But I think it's just the squabble between the family. But personally, I would say that he's a good dad. He's a hands-on dad and he loves his family and he loves his child. So I'm not going to look at other drama that is caused by the family of Libby because some of the drama were really caused by Charlie the brother of uh, Libby but personally looking at the videos and images online you can see that he is a good dad and he loves uh, the child thank you thank you for taking your time uh, to watch this video please sub subscribe comment and share we are growing our channel very fast now. We are approaching 500. We need to get 1,000 subscribers and getting bigger and bigger. I will be posting you with all the uh, snapshots of 90 Days Fiance or the family of Chantel or any other reality uh, show that I can access. God bless you. Thanks.